Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're out in the veg garden and I just want to try and get it tidied up a bit uh, in preparation for winter. Um, so I haven't been out here for a while and everything's gone a bit crazy. I'm not going to cut the grass or anything, but I uh, just want to get rid of all this, uh, all the sunflower stalks and tomatoes that have finished and everything else. So uh, I'm just going to have a little tidy up out here. Uh, I don't know how long we'll be out here for because the weather's been a bit iffy today. Uh, it's just started to rain, so try and get a bit done. So uh, stay tuned. Back to you in a second, and we'll make a start. Okay, so like I said, um, I just want to tidy up the veg garden a little bit, get rid of some all the dead plants and stuff. Uh, everything's pretty much finished now. Um, we're in November now, so. Everything's dying off. I still haven't harvested the beetroot, but I'm just going to leave that there for now. We'll do that another day. Uh, but today I just want to get these sunflowers down. Get all these tomato pots emptied. Uh, all the compost is just going back on the bed. And just clear up as best I can. So I haven't got long really. Um, so uh, we'll see what we can get done. Okay, so that's the two giant sunflowers down anyway. So they're pretty big roots on them. And I think I'm going to try and save these stems. Look how thick that is. <laughs> so that's them down. And next thing I want to do is clear all these pots that had the tomatoes and cucumbers in and clear out that planter over there with the swing frame over it. So all this is going in the compost now um, and what's left of the tomato plants and sunflower plants and stuff. Look at that potato plant growing out of there. You get all sorts growing out of the compost bin. I think that's a leak. <laughs> anyway, so all this is going on here. And hopefully it'll break down before spring next year. Uh, if not, well, I'll just take off the fresh stuff off the top and underneath will be nice compost. So we'll head back over and carry on pulling up stuff. <laughs> Alright, so that's that cleared. So I'll take this over to the compost. And then I'm going to pull up the rest of these marigolds, even though some of them are still flowering. Uh, they won't have long left, so I'll pull them up. And um, you'll notice I use twine uh, to tie up all my plants. That way I don't have to pick up the string when I cut it, I can just let it drop because uh, it's completely biodegradable so you can just chuck it on the ground and by next spring there'll be nothing left of it so it lasts at least a year so 
uh, I'd recommend using twine if you can and the metal wires which I grew the tomatoes up um, I'll just leave them there because they'll be fine for next year so you know, there's no point in redoing this again next year uh, when we can reuse stuff all the bits of tomatoes and stuff are all in here will rot down and uh, they'll be gone by next year so uh, at some point I'll come in here and dig it all over and weed it all but today I'm just clearing all this mess Okay, so we're making some progress now. Uh, so I've emptied all them pots out, pulled up a few weeds and all the marigolds are gone from here. And um, I've just got to pull up these poles and try and salvage my wire. And get rid of any rubbish. Uh, anything plastic, I won't leave on the ground, obviously. Um, anything that's biodegradable, uh, I'll just chuck on the floor for now or put in a compost bin so almost done um after i finish this there's a little down there and the other bit to do and then i think i'll call it a day so i'll crack on Okay, so I think that's about all I'm going to do on this bed for the day. Um, I kind of got a bit carried away and started doing some weeding. And I found some potatoes. There, so yeah, that's bonus. Anyway, so like I said, I did some weeding in there as well. I uh, haven't weeded that bit yet. Uh, but now just going to move on to this bit here just pull up all the biggest of the weeds and pull up all these stems and stuff hope you don't mind the time lapses um, anyway I'll get back to you in a minute Okay, so that's that cleared and uh, I pulled up the majority of the perennial weeds um, I'll come back, give it a proper weed and a dig over at a later date. And this is all cleared now. And I did a little bit of weeding in there. So now I've just got to put all my pots away, all these bamboo canes all the wire and the plant pots and stuff so i'll just run around quick put all them away and then we're about done for the day Okay guys, so, oh, knackered now, uh, that was hard work anyway, so, but we got that all cleared, did a bit of weeding in there, cleared that bed, got some weeding done in there, uh, I've just emptied out a massive container of compost that I had over there, that's what's tired me out so much because it was half full of water, <sighs> anyway, so, that's done, I'll spread that across uh, at a later date, spread all this down, do some more weeding in there, and 
just spread all the compost along there. Uh, I'll come back out another day and harvest the beetroot. Um, it's just about past it, but it should be all right for a little bit longer. We're not doing any frost again anytime soon, so uh, they'll be fine there. Anyway, it's uh, quite a productive day on the vegetable garden, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you don't mind the time lapses and stuff. And um, I hope you don't mind my um, bit unusual videos that I've been doing recently with all the insects and uh, the terrariums and stuff. Uh, it's just things that I find interesting, so um, anything to do with nature. So I hope you don't mind them anyway. Uh, if you want to see more of that sort of thing, let us know. Uh, if you're not interested, again, let us know. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you all have a great week. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. See ya.